Does the oil in your pan really change the flavor of your food? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today, we're finally answering one of life's slipperiest unanswered questions. What difference does cooking our foods in oil versus butter really make? And today's episode is sponsored by ButcherBox, who believes in better. Mm-hmm, that's right, ButcherBox delivers 100% grass-fed beef, free-range organic chicken, pork raised crate free and wild caught seafood directly to your doorstep. It's great tasting, high quality meat that you can feel good about. ButcherBox sources from farmers and fishermen who meet the highest standards for quality. And if you're in case you're a visual learner, that doesn't mean quality that's here or here or here. We're talking about standards of quality that are up here. That's outside of camera range quality, which you know is good. Okay, now with ButcherBox, you get to choose your box type and delivery frequency, and they offer five different boxes. Four curated box options, as well as the popular custom box so you get exactly what you and your family will love. You can cancel at any time and with no penalty fees. And with ButcherBox, Shipping is free. And speaking of free, what would you say if I said the words free bacon for life? Well, I would say speak freely, my friend. That's what I thought. Well, new Butcher Box members will receive one pack of bacon for free in every order for the life of their membership and mm. save $20 off each box for the first five months of membership. Okay. And you know there's never a bad time for bacon or saving money. I agree with that. Go to butcherbox.com slash GMM or click the link in the description below to redeem your offer today. Thanks again to ButcherBox for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. All right, there's some things I just assume are best cooked in butter and I don't even know where I learned that from. Yeah. It's like I have a sixth sense, but without the ghosts. I always use butter for grilled cheese, but oil for chicken. Okay. I, I don't know why, I don't know if it really matters. Sixth sense. And what if our taste buds disagree with what is considered the right cooking goo for every food? Yeah, and what if he was dead the whole time? He was dead the whole time. Well, that makes a lot of sense. It's time for, what's the best food lube to use in your skillet? Let's try butter and oils and then we can spill it. The results, not the oil. Don't play with hot oil, kids. We'll be presented with a series of foods that have been cooked in butter, olive oil, vegetable oil, and a varying wild card oil. Oh, really? Not made from cards, just it's wild card. We just don't know what it's going As long be. as it's wild. It's gonna be chosen by the culinary team. Some people cook using different oils for dietary reasons or smoke points, mm -hmm. which relates to how hot something can get before it sets your smoke alarm off. But for today's taste test, we're focusing on the flavor, okay? Just, just how much we like it. In each round, we're gonna be competing to guess which item was cooked in butter, Points are gonna escalate each round, and in the end, the loser has to butter the winner up with compliments for 30 seconds in Good Mythical More. Let's get greasy. All right, guys, we are kicking things off with a, a little light dish of chicken and veggie stir fry. Okay. And in no particular order, these dishes were cooked in butter, olive oil, vegetable oil, and the wild card is avocado oil. Avocado oil. But I need you to focus on which one you think was cooked in butter. And by doing that, I'm not chewing. You're sucking. I'm just letting it rest. Like a lozenge. For a taste, like a lozenge. You're lozenging your chicken. Don't judge a man That's for good. lozenging, 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 lozenging? Savoring it. Savoring his chicken. Non-chew savoring. I'm trying to get the same stuff in each of them. There's, there's so many things. Hmm. Hmm. Second lozenge. I like the first one better than the second one. I agree. This one's got corn in it. Y'all y'all forgot the baby corn on in here. It's, they, they are all the same thing though. See, I'm not eating the corn because I'm eating the same thing in every I bite. I shouldn't have done that because now I got baby corn taste in my mouth. <clears throat> and I'm doing the same levels of, levels of lodgings. I think I'm gonna recognize the olive oil, but I haven't yet. This is weird. And you really do have to lozenge it. Don't chew it and start thinking. Well, that's your technique. We're competing against each other. Don't give me tips. All right, fine. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm doing over here. Not chewing. That's a crazy idea. I'm getting plenty of taste. This one's good too. Huh. They're all pretty good. I don't think three is good at all. I think that it, it's, it's down to one and four, which one I like the best. And I'm just gonna say out loud that I'm gonna just associate that with butter until I'm proven wrong. Well, this one's also got the most grease residue. I don't know if that means butter or not. 
Okay, I'm just going to go off instinct here. Okay, hand over the, the butter hands? in three, two, one. Whoop! Do you think this is the tastiest? Or uh, this, especially the vegetables had the most flavor on these. Mm -hmm. Like the broccoli was just soaking in something that tasted really, really good. Yeah. The butter dish is on plate number three. What? The one you didn't like. The one I didn't I, like? Yeah, the one that you guys did like, the, the number one is olive oil. Okay, olive oil. Man, and you know what? Olive oil is healthy. It's a healthy oil. You need more of it in your, in your diet. And then our wild card, which was avocado oil, is in plate number two. And so plate number four is vegetable oil. So the one I don't like is butter. Well, here's what I'll say. I, in, I never have cooked a stir fry in butter. Like, I, this hasn't even crossed my mind to do it. So mm. I didn't even have, I mean, I guess now I know why. It doesn't taste as good as olive oil. You got pork chops here, oh, fellas. Oh, we do. And reminder, you're looking for the butter, but you also have olive oil and vegetable oil. And the wild card this round is peanut oil. Peanut oil. Who would do such a thing? I love some peanut oil. Man, This. I thought that this was gonna be relatively easy. First of all, the first one was good. It was. It must not be butter. Hmm. There's more of a browning sensation on this one. It's more about the pork. Are you lozenging your pork? Of course, man. It's a patented technique that I don't recommend you use. That has a strong flavor. Hmm. And not my favorite. Is it the pork or is it the oil? One may never know. It's, it's hard to say. And finally. One in four are my favorites, tasting wise. Peanut oil, huh? Okay. That's hot. That's lurking somewhere. Okay, hand over butter in three, two, one. I'm back here. I'm at two this time. Mm. The pork chops cooked in butter are. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to change my answer. I just voted on what I love the best, which I know is not butter. I'm voting for this one, the one I didn't like the most, because I think it's butter. On plate number one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, interesting. I also thought that one and four were both the best. Huh. I went with this one because I liked it the least, thinking that maybe the butter had carried through, but okay, so. Okay, so plate number two is vegetable oil. Yeah, plate didn't number like that. Yeah. three that is the either. wild card, which is peanut oil. Yeah, I, yeah. And then plate number four like is olive oil. Olive oil was my favorite again, but this time olive oil and butter were both really good. Butter was my favorite now, so. <sighs> so we don't, so you're not learning anything, really. Well, mm. actually, no, we both liked butter this time. We liked butter with meat, but not with a, with a stir fry. Yes. It's French toast mm. time. And yeah, your French toast was cooked in butter, olive oil, vegetable oil, and margarine. Okay. Margarine. As someone who regularly cooks breakfast for himself and very occasionally French toast, under no circumstances would I use anything but butter for French toast. Like using olive oil with French toast seems like it would be an obvious bad call. Thanks for that info. I'm kind of going to the middle here. Now I think most of you out there who understand cooking would understand where I'm getting at with that. That first one tasted good to me. Because it's, it absorbs so much of the oil because of the nature of the, the toast. That's not bad to me. I don't think it's as tasty as the first one. They're both good. I mean, I agree with that. I'm just hacking this to bits in here, trying to get a middle piece. That feels pretty bland. Yep. Compared to the other ones. Nothing there, nothing added. Nothing wagered, nothing lost with that one. I heard your stomach go wow. <laughs> the beginning of digestion. <laughs> um, I don't like that one either. I like the first two. This one is, this one says nothing to me. This one I do not like. Something about the taste of that one. And again, the French toast is always good, but I, I can tell there's a, there's a difference. Ooh, my goodness. Man, that's good when you get into the middle. Mm-hmm. I mean, at this point, you guys are just eating French toast. <laughs> We're and, deliberating. And you I got loved, a problem with that? I loved French toast as a kid until I realized it had egg in it. That says something about you. Mm. All right, I'm ready to vote. Hand over butter in three, Two, one. I'm agreeing with you that butter. These are both really good. I'm voting, this is my favorite. The French toast cooked in butter is on plate number two. Ah. 
And the reason that I think you liked plate number one as well is because that was our wild card, the margarine. Yeah. Okay. So this is actually consistent with what seems to be reality. Like margarine is trying to be butter, but these are the ones that were done in the oils that you shouldn't do French toast in. So finally, some and semblance of reality. And it tracks even further because plate three is vegetable oil, which tends to not have as strong of a taste as olive oil, which is the fourth plate okay. that you actively did not Yeah, like. it just did, it didn't go together, but it's, it's great on some stir fry. Huh. And of course, the best ending to any meal, salmon. Uh, we <laughs> <have> <laughs> yes, that's butter, that salmon dessert. Olive oil, vegetable oil, and the wild card is grapeseed oil. Oh, they're hot. Woo! <laughs> it's real hot, especially when you're just gonna lozenge it. Mm. <laughs> There's some hot fish. Is it real hot? No. I'm not really liking that and at all. Like this, I, I didn't know how much of bad. it was like the first taste of salmon, you know? You gotta acclimate to, to eating a fish to get into the fish world. The first taste of salmon. Woo, oh, hot. It's real hot. Is it real hot? Uh-huh. But, mm-hmm. but, how are you doing so hot? Uh, you know, I nuked it for like a little bit, longer than I probably should have. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, that uh, is beginning to taste a little bit more like I would expect, but still not great. Go for it. I mean, I am getting into the skin here, you know. To, yeah, getting like the thinner end, I, I would think it would give me more of an advantage to hit that before you could get to it. Mm. Hmm. That's pretty tasty. But does that mean it's butter? I don't know. I don't. I mean, fish is so overpowering. Oh, you took my end piece. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whoa. That's wild. Caught salmon. No, wild taste. That's super greasy. Like, uh, this is tough for me because the fish is so strong and then it's just and oily. Man, I, there's not a whole lot to go on here. Okay. Um, you ready? Yeah. Do I think the best is the butter? Hand over butter in three, two, one. Yes. Oh, look at us just kind of saying, hey, we're neighbors. I actually the like salmon. four of the best. Cooked in butter is on plate number four. Ah, okay. So you like the I butter. I liked the butter, which consistently we're liking butter a lot. I didn't dislike it. I, I don't know, it was just hard. So the other ones on plate number one, we have the vegetable oil. Plate number two is our wild card, the grapeseed oil. And then plate number three is olive oil. Yeah, yeah. and I made that note that this is the one that began to taste like a normal salmon, which is what I would typically cook in. But this one was tough. But what, what did we, I think we did learn that three out of the four rounds, we preferred, at least one of us preferred the butter over the other things, right? Yeah, we kind of learned that there's a reason that people cook certain things in certain <laughs> oils and butters, hey, that's and good. that holds up true. That's good. Stick with it. And somehow, with uh, escalating points, you still won three to zero. Yeah, well, just because I got one right when it was worth three. Just a bunch of, yeah. We're, that's all. You were a lucky I got dog. one right. And I'm a little less hungry, but still open for more. And how about, speaking of more, why don't you give me 30 seconds worth of compliments and good mythical more, just butter me up a little bit. All right, thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Thomas. And I'm Sam. And we're in Emerald Isle. On Rhett Street. And, and it's, it's time, time to, to spin, spin the wheel, wheel of mythicality. mythicality. I've been down that road many, many times. I've been down that road too, but I mean physically, are you saying metaphorically? Uh, <laughs> so physically, I, well, I passed it as you go by on 58. Click the top link to find out which of your favorite pizza chains makes the best garlic butter in Good Mythical Ooh. More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality's gonna land. Get the official Mythical Rubik's Cube at mythical.com while supplies last.